Today, CPU power draw is getting wild. New chip competitor reveals the release date, AMD's gearing up, and new information on Ryzen 9000 CPUs as well as their monster APU. Welcome everyone to Gamer Meld. This video is sponsored by FlexiSpot. First up for today, it's starting to look like CPU power draw is getting absolutely bonkers. This story originally comes from this leaker who just shared images and specs of Intel's next generation Xeon 6 series of CPUs. Remember that Intel officially announced last year that their Sierra Forest processors would come with up to 288 cores. Now, these are their E cores, so they don't include hyperthreading, but still, that's a massive boost over anything we've seen out of Intel. This leaker actually shared some evaluation boards for both Sierra Forest and the P-Core equivalent Granite Rapids. And as you can see, these sockets are massive. Then he also shared the CPUs themselves. But the interesting part is that he actually shared the full breakdown of specs for the upcoming parts. And when it comes to these, as you can see, they're set to offer a full lineup with a wide range of TDP. But if you're wanting that 288 core beast, you're looking at a massive TDP of 500 watts. And actually, if you wanted anything from 72 to 128 cores of their performance cores, you'd still be looking at 500 watts. For reference, their current high-end Emerald Rapids 8592 Plus comes with a TDP of 350 watts. Of course, 128 cores is a massive jump from that CPU's 64 cores, but still, power draw is getting to some wide levels all around. And next up for today, a new challenger for AMD and Intel is finally releasing. But first, I've been looking for the ultimate desk for years now, and today, I found it. It's called the FlexiSpot E7 Pro, and I'm not joking when I say that it's the sturdiest desk I've ever owned, even better than the one I built myself, and that's not even a motorized desk. Basically, this bad boy is incredible. For starters, it's rated to hold a whopping 440 pounds. It also comes with a super nice cable organizer. They offer drawers, wheels, tons of desktop options, and more so you can make it the perfect desk for you. Really, FlexiSpot is that kind of company that doesn't just get the big things right, it even does the small things. I mean, check out this sweet magnetic cable cover here. And I love a sit-stand desk because I can use it to make awesome B-roll. I can change positions of it, whether I'm wanting to stand or sit when filming, or I can even just move it down some when I want to sit a little higher. So check out the FlexiSpot E7 Pro down in the description below or any number of FlexiSpot's other desks. They've got something for everyone. Oh, and when you use my exclusive code here, you'll get $30 off any of their E7 lineup. Now back to the story, I've discussed Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite chips for a little while now. There are a series of upcoming CPUs with integrated GPUs that are actually coming to Windows notebooks. But what's wild about these is that they're based on the ARM architecture instead of x86 like Intel or AMD. And apps like Google's Chrome are already releasing ARM optimized versions on Windows. But for applications that don't already support ARM, Windows will use x86 emulation. So we'll have to see how that part goes. But so far, it seems like Qualcomm is taking this seriously, and the performance that we've seen looks really impressive. I mean, these chips can actually game. Well, it's looking like they're finally nearing a release, as Snapdragon's official Twitter account just tweeted out, quote, stay tuned for April 24th, and a new video that clearly shows the upcoming chip leading into coming soon. Basically, the company is likely set to announce their upcoming products on April 24th. Of course, time will tell just how successful these end up being, but it's always nice to see some new competition in the space. Next up, it looks like AMD is really getting things ready for their next generation Ryzen 9000 CPUs. Because in a new blog post from MSI, they officially announced their newest BIOS update for their X670E, X670, B650, and A620 motherboards. And as you can see, they flat out say it. 
quote, MSI 600 series motherboard will support AMD's next-gen CPU. Now, that may not seem like much, given we've caught other motherboard vendors releasing BIOS updates that clearly support next-gen CPUs, and ASUS even just added one to their B650E motherboard that says the same thing. But given the fact that MSI is flat announcing it, not just putting it in the description of their update, it's pretty clear that things are moving along well and AMD is gearing up to announce their upcoming products. Fingers crossed that they can deliver on performance. And lastly for today, we're starting to get more information on Ryzen 9000 as well as the company's upcoming monster high-end part, Strix Halo. Remember that this bad boy is set to be a new top-end APU that comes with an integrated GPU with 40 CUs or 2560 cores. That's the same number of cores in AMD 6700 XT. But it doesn't stop there, because it's set to come with their next-gen RDNA 3.5 architecture. Either way, today there's a new leak that originally comes from the Chinese chip L forums and later reported by PC Gamer. But before I get to this, I do want to say that apparently some of this seems to be speculation, but it's tough to see which is and which isn't. Though I can at least say that Strix Halo is a real chip that AMD's working on. That I know for a fact. Either way, as you can see, they shared a slide that supposedly goes over the structure of Strix Halo. And starting things off, the chip is apparently built on an MCM design with two desktop chiplets with eight Zen 5 cores in each, making for a full 16-core CPU. And it's based on TSMC's N4X. Not only that, but according to this, the CPU gets up to 5.8 gigahertz. Meaning if this is right, AMD's Ryzen 9000 is at least getting a bit of a boost in clocks. Potentially even higher than this though because it has to deal with the thermals of that monster integrated GPU. And speaking of that part, as you can see here it has this SoC die which comes with 40 CUs based on RDNA 3.5. It also apparently comes with the same Infinity fabric from Navi31 to connect everything together. Not only that, but he shared what seems to be the expected performance numbers from the upcoming part. And as you can see, the 3D Mark Time Spy score is right around the 4070M and actually actually gets close to the 4060 Ti desktop GPU. He also shows a part that comes with 32 CUs, but I don't know if that's actually a thing or not. Finally, he shows a very decent boost in Cinebench performance for the CPU. But of course, I definitely take that with a grain of salt. Really, I think the big takeaway here is that AMD is gearing up to release an APU that will challenge mid-range discrete desktop cards. And I can't wait to see it. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for this epic monster APU? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out FlexiSpot's awesome desk by visiting the link in the description below. And as always, have a great day.